There's a common misconception that what worked a couple of years ago in book marketing no longer works. And I think that can really hold people back from having success because if everyone is kind of gold rushing toward what works this year or this month and forgets what worked in 2019, 2018, 2017, it's, it's actually gonna do two things. It's going to make it harder to have success on the thing that works now because everybody is going to be rushing towards it, right? So it might make the costs go up more quickly on, on some new type of ad or new type of promotion. But it also makes it so that the folks who are doing the thing that worked in 2017, there isn't as much push for that. Perhaps it's Facebook lead generation ads or it's email marketing. You could kind of play book marketing method bingo here and get all of the different ideas for what, quote, used to work, but for a lot of people, it still does. So what does that mean? Don't let yourself be consumed by this recency bias. Don't let yourself be swayed by the most recent posts. Look back at what has worked as well. Be almost a historian of book marketing. Try what works for you, and maybe even more importantly, what you're actually excited to try rather than just going for the newest, shiniest thing.